Hey guys, Patrick here. So just gonna do a quick recharge of my Anchor Solix. I drained it down to 1% and uh, I'm gonna recharge it only via, via solar. So right now I got my solar panel outside mounted on my new mount. Uh, it's not noon yet, so it's not gonna hit the solar panel at maximum. And I got my little reflective uh, uh, mod in the back so I'm getting 460 456 so let's see you know throughout the day and I might readjust the panel at midday so right now it is 11 o'clock 11 3 or something so uh, not that bad but uh, I'm at close to 460 of power generating so I'll go outside and show you guys the mount and the new eco warty mount that I got that is uh, mounted right now so I can adjust the angle as I want and this thing is pretty good so I wish I've uh, bought that in the beginning instead of buying like uh, too much lumber and just trying to make something a little DIY so this thing is a little bit better although it is limit for this panel this setup is pretty limit so uh, for the width and the size of the panel this thing is pretty limit so let me show you guys the solar mount here with my little mod on the back so you guys can see that Yes, sir. So the uh, panel is not really oriented to uh, maximum sun. So the sun is going to come uh, towards it uh, pretty soon. So, uh, but you, right now at an angle, I am producing that. When the sun reaches almost noon or two o'clock, it's gonna it's gonna produce a little bit more power and should recharge this uh, solar station a little bit faster. Although I do have to run some errand, but I should be back before the station is fully charged. So yeah, still got my caster wheels. I got myself some little eyelets there and that I run my cart through so that way I can pull it easier. I can adjust the angle with those brackets. And what I mean by uh, this thing is limit is uh, look on the back here. I am at the last possible hole and I am at the last hole over there and as well for the uh, 4x4 I am on this hole here and this hole here I am pretty limit so uh, <laughs> so you right now it's a little sketch so um, well it's not sketch but it's limit so I could add some pieces of wood which I'm probably going to do add some pieces of 2x4 right there to just be able to screw it in this one as well and just make it a little bit more secure and just a tiny piece of mine so on the panel itself you know it's on the last hole here so for that panel it's on the last hole but this is you know a 500 watt solar panel this is rated for 400 watts but this is pretty sturdy and it's not going anywhere the entire you know platform is moving and the solar panel here isn't moving at all so this is pretty solid and i wish i've done that from the beginning that would have been just a little bit easier and like i said i got my little reflective mod on the back and yeah i can adjust the angle right now the angle is set to 29 degrees i don't know if it's an optimal angle for this and it is pretty windy out there so uh but i don't think my panel is gonna go anywhere the caster wheels are locked and uh you know we'll see today uh, how the wind affects it but I might need to get some ground anchor and just to anchor that on the ground where I mount the panel at least so it doesn't flip over so just with a little piece of paracord a little chain or something with a ground anchor that I can screw in the ground and at least have a little peace of mind on that note that it's it's not gonna go anywhere so yeah so a little windy today for some reason but uh, yeah should, shouldn't affect the sun production because the sun is full out right now and let me show you guys the angle so it's not at a perfect angle so but i'm still producing like see the panel is there and the sun should be there but it's on the side there a little canted so it's not hitting it dead on so but you know uh the sun is gonna move and it's gonna eventually get to the right angle so and hopefully i can be back before this thing is fully charged so yep i'm just gonna keep you guys updated on how long it's gonna take it's probably gonna take two less than uh, than three hours to be honest from uh, from one percent so i was at one percent when i plugged it in and it got back to two percent pretty quickly and now i'm guessing it's gonna be at three or four percent so uh, i should have enough time to go do my errands and uh, have to get my trailer inspected i already got my car inspected i had to change the rockers but that's going to be subject for another video on how nova scotia is so five percent 467 watts so as much as the sun is getting realigned so it's less than three hours so two hours 2.5 hours about to charge it from you know if i follow the sun and i get like closer to 600 it's going to be less than two hours to charge that's crazy 
That is crazy. You could recharge this power station two or three times in a day and just uh, go to town and use a lot of power and every appliances you, you can ever imagine and dream. So pretty cool. All right, keep you guys updated and come back in a bit. All right, guys, quick little update on the uh, Anchor Solix C1000 and the Jinko uh, 540 watt solar. So right now my solar panel is adjusted pretty good. I might not have perfect solar noon. I have my little mod that you saw for reflecting on the back. And yeah, this thing is pulling 500 watts. I saw 510, 511. So it's fluctuating a little bit, but uh, yeah, I'm getting some pretty decent juice out of there. So, and uh, when it was at 50%, I saw peaks of like a, a 515 and a 520. So, getting really close to that 540 watts uh, for uh, for uh, rating. So, uh, really happy with the solar panel with the Jenko 540 watt solar. So, uh, recharging this in less than three hours, which is amazing. And uh, yeah, so uh, you can recharge your solar panel several times throughout the day. You can hear the fan cooling a little bit because this thing is charging quickly, so at 500 watts. But I think that's a good compromise between the battery. 600 might be pushing it, besides you need perfect voltage and perfect wattage and everything to uh, to be able to amperage, to be able to uh, to get that 600 watts. So, But I think like 500 is perfect. From one solar panel, this entire setup cost me less than 1100 bucks Canadian, especially with the deal that I got for Anchor on Prime Day. And if you're in the US, you get that deal for less than a thousand, and it's like less than 800 or 900 bucks for this entire setup, and you're basically getting unlimited power. So, yep, so I'll come back right now, it's uh, one o'clock, so I'll come back in like 20 30 minutes when this thing is done charging, and we'll wrap this up. All right, and we are done recharging, so 100% fully charged. And all this via solar, 500 watt coming in, uh, minimum, so uh, yeah, so uh, 500 watt all the way, less than three hours to recharge the Anchor Solix C1000 with a Jinko 540 watt solar panel. And I got some uh, Echo Worthy mount on top of it, so you can see that right there, a little mod on the back to uh, give me uh, some uh, little uh, bifacial reflection for the sun that is poking through because you can see the sun is poking through those solar panels or uh, refracting those little rays of sunshine back and yeah so uh, I'll do a little review separate reviews on the Echo Worthy mount see what I think of it and in the meantime I'll try to per find a perfect noon for these solar panels and since they are on caster wheels and adjustable mount I can always readjust it depending on the time of the year etc etc so alright so let me know in the comments is it a good setup for this Anchor Solix C1000 and a 540 watt solar you only got one solar panel one connection to do not anything else you don't have to connect anything in series and parallel or whatever so all you have to do is connect one panel one cable Plug it into the uh, to the controller. All you need though is that that little adapter right here. So you need a little XT60 to MC4 adapter, and that just plugs in there. So that's just a basic XT60. No, not the XT60i with the little connection there. So that's proprietary. So, but you don't need that. Just a basic XT60 connector, and you're getting 500 watts of power. Uh, and you're recharging your solar, uh, you know, your one kilowatt power station in under three hours. So two hours, 45 minutes or something. So close to three hours or under. So that is pretty amazing. You could go more if you had 600 watts or stuff, uh, something like that. But, you know, for the price of this uh, bifacial Jinkos and, uh, you know, for, for what you're getting, it's less than a 200 watt solar panel that is portable flexible or anything else from uh, another company like Renergy or stuff like that so way less so you're getting like a commercial panel that is warranty for 20 25 years and you're getting a more power and you know more efficiency it's not super portable so you can't just fold it and unfold it as much as you want but for a home setup i think it's a pretty good setup guys all right hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up it's always appreciated catch you guys on the next one